Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Treehouse. Uh, this is Treehouse Eureka with Citra, uh, literally uh, growler filled two days ago. Uh, thanks to Lauren for filling this one up for me. Uh, really excited for this one. This is their Hoppy Blonde Ale, brewed with Citra. Uh, I'm really excited, I'm really a big fan of this beer. So let's dig in. Beer comes in a medium gold color, beautiful medium plus haze on that. Let's get the aroma on this one. Immediately, I get this um, light kind of yeasty quality, that bubblegummy kind of quality that uh, Treehouse beers have. Some fruit as well, some grainy malts. A little bit of doughy sweetness. Maybe some orange peel, some tangerine. It smells fantastic. Cheers. Before I dig the beer, you might notice I have a lot of tags on this one. And it's probably from laziness. But... Part of it's like, you know, some people like it for the uh, sense of nostalgia. Um, I see one here, January uh, 2016, Julius. Let's go with another one. Hayes, October 2015. So uh, it sort of reminds me of the beautiful trips I've done to Treehouse and um, it's that beautiful nostalgia. Maybe I should rip them off because like it's a, probably a little bit annoying for the, um, uh, like Lauren to uh, fill up a ground with all those tags, but post below with your opinions about that. But. Also the beer, in general, really nice and soft. Uh, beautiful texture on the beer. 4.2%, it does not drink like that. It's a nice, beautiful creaminess to this beer. I'm not quite sure if they're offering oats or wheat into this beer, but possibly. It's a theme of a nice kind of gentle citrus quality to it. You know, a little bit of like sweet grapefruit, but definitely leaning towards a little bit of that kind of like orangey kind of quality that sort of lingers around. But then really what this beer shows is a beautiful malt quality. Uh, it's doughy throughout. There's some white bread dough coming through, some grainy malt. On the aftertaste, there's a beautiful grainy malt character, uh, literally like eating malt. And it's really nice and dry. 4.2%, this hard to imagine hoppy ale that I like more. Uh, if anything, having all those Suarez beers, this reminds me of that and uh, in that quality, but in my opinion, just a little bit better. Um, absolutely love it, or on par at least. We're gonna say on par. It's just a beautiful, hoppy little beer, whereas Treehouse is known for their, you know, obviously fantastic, fantastic IPAs and double IPAs. And I actually asked Nate about this and he thought this is one of the best beer he's, uh, beers here that he brews. And I think it's a magical beer. Uh, to create a beer of this quality at 4.2%, the amount of flavor it has, the amount of malt that, that, that it has, and still holding up to be a beautiful hoppy beer is, a, <laughs> it's an innovation. It, it, it is beautiful that he can do this uh, to a beer at this ABV. So um, you can drink a ton of this. It is so delicious. Interesting thing, this is actually the beer that sold me on uh, Treehouse. The first Treehouse beer was this. I had a huge bottle share, 40 people or so, and everybody's crushing all these other beers and it kept going back to this growler uh, that people were ignoring uh, early on when people were not super hyped about Treehouse, you know, you know, driving and you know, drinking all this Treehouse. Oh, you have that at a bottle share, you gotta drink all of that. Um, I immediately fell in love with this beer early on, early, 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 early batches. And so, still absolutely love it. Uh, this is fantastic, as for rating. I just want to drink this forever. Um, let's go with a 97 plus, 97 plus. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Post opinions below about what your favorite hoppy beer under 5% is. This is Eureka Citra. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.